Maui's Hook will have its world premiere at the New Zealand International Film Festival next Saturday, before screening at 10 other festival venues around the country. Filmmaker and psychologist Paul De Joseph's powerful work merges documentary with drama to address the effects of suicide on families and those left behind. We welcome now to the cafe actor Niwa Fatawira. Yes. Welcome. Great to have you here, Niwa. Really nice to have you here. First up, tell us how it all works. So it's part documentary, part drama. Yeah, correct. So um, basically the film follows the journey of um, five families that make their way from Parihaka to Wanganui, Rotorua, then up to the Cape. And um, throughout the film um, sort of weave the fictional drama element, which uh, I come into play. And um, the character of Tama, and he sort of provides a sort of surrogate to the stories that the families are telling so that we can see it in real time at, at the same moment. Yeah, and, I, and I've been very lucky to see this, and honestly, it is brilliant. That opening scene that you yeah. are in, pretty full on, isn't it? Was this one of the, the you know, the most challenging roles you've ever done? Oh, 100%, yeah. It was, uh, the hard, I reckon the hardest bit was um, not really having an interaction with actors on set and um, sort of doing the same sort of processes that you go through when you shoot a drama. Right. Especially mm. when you shot the doco part, obviously. So it was very, felt very isolated at points, but it was a great experience. You would have had mm. to reach for everything. So you, the, the, the doco part is obviously the families, mm -hmm. they're all real and the journey they're on. And you, you took part in that as well too, didn't you? Yeah, so I was on the journey yeah. with them, um, sort of just in the background, I was sort of just hanging about as a bit of a weirdo actually. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I was able to build a relationship with the families and um, really get into them and figure out everything that they were going through so that I could then take that and use that in my performance. Yeah, and, um, and I, actually, I tell you what we should do now. Let's just take a quick look. This is phenomenal. Have a, have a quick look. You've got to remember you're not alone. Someone does love you and care. We try too hard sometimes to stand strong when we really need help. The work that we are embarking on is all about honesty. We don't have the answers, but we can talk about it. Through talking with one another, we may find a solution. Wow. So, so what was the hardest thing then? The, I mean, the you threw out the whole thing. Um, it was just sort of being integrated with the families, but then also doing sort of my job acting, which in the name of what it is, it's not real, you know? You want mm. to do, I mean, their stories, you want to do justice mm -hmm. to what they're telling, don't you? Yeah, but then you'd, you'd always so battle with, um, oh, well, these guys are actually living this, whereas I'm just... The emotion. Yeah, and I'm just going to work, pretty much, so it was a hard balance. Does that make you feel guilty a bit? Uh, it's slightly, a little mm. bit, but we kept on coming back. Like, the same thing happened with a lot of the crew, and Polder kept on coming back to, well, we've got a purpose, we've got a focus. If the film does what it's supposed to do, then it's going to be have a greater purpose than whatever you're doing right now. Yeah, know, well, it certainly hits the mark because you know the families involved as well. It's, it's brave of them to tell their story so raw like that, and to have it turned into a feature film, so to speak, it's going to be a nerve-wracking time for them, I think. Yeah, well, there's a difference because I want to be in a feature film, whereas <laughs> yeah. um, they've just got it. But their stories, sort of, I think from where their perspective is that, okay, I felt this pain, I went through whatever they went through, mm. and if I can tell it, then I can help somebody else, yeah. which is the main message of the whole movie, is yeah. to help somebody else. Yeah. We, we recognise you obviously acting from um, like the Dark Horse, the rehearsal movies. Um, for this one, the actual journey that you went on, like the physical journey, yeah. what was that like? Uh, it was a week and a half. It was it was crazy. Well, we started off in Parihaka, went to Wanganui, there was a once in every 200 year flood there, up to uh, Rotorua, which was freezing, and then straight on through to uh, Te Reringa Wairua, stayed a night in Takao, which is the far north, and um, they don't have separate reception there. And right. my girlfriend <laughs> thought the bus crashed or something oh. like that, and I went off the face of the earth <laughs> for two days. But um, it was a journey I'll never forget. And, and tell me a bit more about the director and the, and the, the writer, I guess, of the movie, mm. Polder. Yeah. He, he features Anna, but that man's a genius, isn't oh, he? Oh, man, that dude's a buzz. Uh, no, Polder is a great, great fellow, very talented guy. 
I think the way that he views the world is just interesting, and that's why he makes such good films. Mm. Is that his vision of the world is um, is very very cool. Oh, so. well, you know, I found a lot of healing was going on in that movie, so I hope people get that when they go and see it as well, because I guess that's its purpose: learn and heal, yeah. move forward. Yeah. yeah, and you could see the change when, when we finished it of the families who had gone through it, and what they they would different after the movie mm. as well and so the actual journey that they went on was also a period of healing for them yeah. we shot it created a feature film out of it i yeah, bet well, it's brilliant mate well done awesome yeah awesome. congratulations cheers guys uh, the world premiere of Maui's Hook screens as part of the International Film Festival in Auckland on July the 21st. It's then going to screen on July the 23rd and the 24th before heading to Wellington and other festival venues around the country as well. So if you want to see it, check out the Film Festival website for details.